Um, I've, I've never uh, gone public with anything until now, so I don't really know a whole lot about the uh, art community on Nantucket. What, what drew you into the all thing? What was it about the all thing that got you? Um, well, I, I know uh, Cameron, so he just uh, he came up to me one day over at Off Center Cafe and said, uh, Mel, we need your artwork, and I said, all right, I'll right. be there. So I just, I just showed up, <laughs> and that's that. What else that. is going on here tonight? Um, well, there was uh, George read a story, and I think they were going to do something with the video, but I'm not sure if they're still doing that or if I missed it, if I was outside when they were doing that. Did you show the video? Did you see any of the video? Um, I, I didn't. I, I might have been... I, I stepped out, so maybe I missed it, but that I don't know. There were a lot of people around, though, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, it was it was pretty much a full house. Uh, they had the band playing um, better than they are now. <laughs> no, but it's good to know that people come out and, and check it out. Right. Um, okay. And uh, your name is? My name is Mitch Pikos. Mitch Pikos, uh, uh, an old island name, Pikos, I might say. Uh, I'm a native. I'm a native. Uh, I was away for several years, but I'm back, and most right. of this work is my, some of it's impressions of Nantucket, and some of it is uh, actual places. Right. Uh, mostly original work here. I can't get it all out to my good frame of Brad Brooks. I hadn't been able to get these out there Brad, yet. Yeah. yeah, Brad frames most of my stuff for me. But it looks great. He's busy. Well, he makes the work look good, you know. And, uh, well, I think the work is good to start with. And uh, the watercolors, a little ink in some cases. Um, now, how did you get into watercolors as opposed to something else? I w uh, years ago, uh, I used to work for a contractor on the island, and uh, I was working at Walter Perrin's gallery, and and he, he got me interested in watercolors. So from then on, I've just always dabbled with it, dabbled with it, and then uh, it was a hobby. And then from a hobby, um, it turned into more of a desire, and it just a little thing that grows. I take the work and turn them into cards. Uh, Have you sold your stuff? Well, I mean, I'm in the process, you know, of, of, of trying to um, find I'll some marketable stuff. I have some prints. I think it looks very marketable. You know, I have, I have prints. I have prints. Of, this is the original work up here, and this is right. the print that I've had made of it. Oh, yeah. And of course, we know this is most recent happening yeah. around here on the Antarctic. Very, the yeah. Codfish Park going down, so I, uh, I'm kind of proud of that one. A lot of people want it. Yeah. I'll wind up putting it on shirts also. Oh, yeah. Check out the shirt. I put my, I'm putting my work on shirts. Absolutely. Uh, no, uh, I put my work on shirts and right. t-shirts, turn it into greeting cards, I paint signs, design and paint signs for folks. You know. so How did you get I'm involved? It all away. How did you get into this thing tonight? I read about it in the paper, you know, and um, it, it sounded like a good thing to do. It, it, it sounded interesting, someplace to display your, uh, you know, your work. And, right. Meet some other artists, meet some local people, and, and enjoy it and have a good time. Did it go well for you? Oh, yeah, I've had a great time. There's I've, a lot of great folks here. Oh, yes, and, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of, you know, the, the variety of, of, of work that's displayed here tonight has really been amazing. I mean, uh, art forms of uh, every kind. Looking at your stuff, I think you're going to sell some this summer. I can tell you that right now. I hope to. All right. Thanks for talking to us. You're welcome. All right. We'll see you. Well, Saturday night, February 28th, there was a lot going on on the island tonight. Uh, we're we saying proved it, we proved it. We went to virtually everything that was going on tonight. Although, having said that, the Crossroom Coffee House tonight had Ray Linda Wood, a fabulous storyteller. And that's not to mention what the box and the muse had going on tonight, or whoever else had something going on tonight. The point of the matter is, there's always something great to do, and chances are your neighbor has something to do with putting it on for you. You know what I mean?